Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech. Today we are going to enable the built-in multi-window function in Android Marshmallow. I'm going to show the method for non-rooted phones as my phone isn't rooted currently. Yeah, I lost my root during the last uh, security update. As I said, my method allows you to uh, update your phone regularly as always without any trouble. So uh, we'll move now to the computer and I already preset uh, as you can see all the needed commands. So what we're going to do is basically first of all check that we can read our phone so ADB devices. We should see our phone in a moment. Yeah, so as you can see it is connected. Then we're going to reboot to the bootloader you'll see the phone rebooting to the bootloader in a moment. Here it is. Now we're going to check again that our phone is readable by going to fastboot devices. And as you can see it is readable. And now what we're going to do is boot, not flash, but boot the TWRP recovery. Again, as I showed the method in the previous time. So as you can see our phone is booting now into the TWRP recovery without actually installing it to the phone so we will be able to update our phone whenever an update comes out via the original OTA. The interesting part that after the next update we will still uh, see this function available we will just not be able to control it because it will override the uh, boot track that we will uh, actually uh, currently uh, modify. So uh, as you can see uh, our phone is booted to the TWRP and what we are going to do now is go to mount and mount our system. We are going to uh, deselect the mount system partition read only because we need uh, to modify our system and then we will go back. Now please note that the moment that you will do it for the first time uh, your phone will uh, probably give you some warning. Uh, you can disregard that, but please note that you are mounting your system as writable, so it's insecure exactly as it will say uh, to you. So just remember that. Anyway, it will be overwritten uh, in the next update anyways. So let's go ahead back to our computer to proceed with uh, the rest. So we're going to copy the build.prop uh, file from our system by ADB pool. That's what I'm doing right now. And now we have it here. As you can see. So we're going to edit this uh, thing. We're going to open it with our Notepad++. That's the one that I like. You can use any other editor that you like. It doesn't really matter. And what we're going to do is actually search for ro.build.type. So uh, let's copy that. And here it is. Now what we're going to do now is change user to user debug. So basically we're just going to add debug and save it. Control S will save it. Now we're going back to uh, our uh, commands list. And what we're going to do is actually push back this file to the system. So uh, that's what I'm doing now with the ADB push. And now it's, it's a little bit tricky, I would say. What you need to do is actually go to uh, your ADB shell. Basically, uh, here you are <laughs> actually controlling the Linux in your Android. Now Android is based on Linux, so, you know. Anyway, uh, you need to go to your system uh, partition, so it's CD. Uh, system and now we're going to uh, change the permissions to our file so uh, it will be as readable as always for the phone. So it's chmod 644 uh, build.prop. Uh, basically that's it. What we're going to do now is actually reboot. So I'm going to type... oh sorry. Um, you can't do that from the ADB shell. Actually, you know what? You probably can. Let's try just reboot. Yeah, you can do that. You can actually press type reboot from your ADB shell and as you can see, your device is corrupt. 
it can't be trusted in any way, blah blah blah. That's because uh, we actually enabled the system to be writable. Uh, so don't panic or anything. Anyway, uh, our phone is booting up now. So now that our phone is booted, we're going to the settings. We're basically going to the developer edition, to developer options. And now we're search under, if I remember correctly, the drawing. Here you can see drawing. The last option is multi-window mode. Multiple activities on screen at the same time. Now we're going to enable it. Uh, now keep in mind one thing. It's really buggy and that's why it's uh, only available under debugging. So uh, if we will go to the multitasking, you should see, okay, uh, on that window you won't see because it's pretty dark, but let's go for example to um, the YouTube. So if we'll go now to the multifunction window, you can see here a small uh, a small icon that lets you actually choose wherever you want this window to be full screen, to be at the bottom or to be at the upper level. So we're going to choose for example the upper level. Now as I said it's really buggy so you can see we can scroll the settings down here and we have our YouTube app uh, here. So basically, um, for example, for me what I can do now is at the bottom, for example, uh, start uh, a browser and research something, and research for something, uh, and at the top I can see a video about the same research that maybe I'm doing, so I will be able to get much more info at the same time without any disruptions, or I can just, you know, uh, browse on Facebook or something while still uh, listening to music from YouTube. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much what it does. Uh, as I said, it's really buggy. Uh, it's not something that you should actually rely on, but it's cool that uh, you have it uh, inside your Android Marshmallow and you don't need uh, to do anything. Now keep in mind uh, one thing. Uh, this method is been, has been tested on uh, Nexus phones, on Nexus tablets with uh, Android Marshmallow. Don't try, don't bother to try it on uh, older systems like Lollipop or KitKat or whatever, uh, it won't work. Uh, this thing is available only since the Marshmallow. Uh, and I suggest that you won't try it on any other phone like, um, I don't know, HTC, Samsung or LG or whatever. I'm not really sure if it will work there or not, but really, um, don't just go ahead and try because you might end up with a brick phone without uh, any ROM uh, working at all. So as always I hope you liked this video and if you did like this video, if you didn't dislike and as always don't forget to subscribe and when you do don't forget to mark the feed to receive future video updates. As always see you in the next one. So uh, as you can see uh, it comes this time not in a box but in sort of a pouch. Now the interesting thing about the Pebble Bee Hornet 